welcome to the Stateless Codecast. In this video, I'm going to try to make a uh, profile for my personal GitHub video. So in the, the last video, which I'll link to, uh, we created a profile readme for the Stateless Code organization. And GitHub has different processes for organization readme profiles versus the um, your user one. So we, t in that case, we were trying to emulate. So uh, Atharva here uh, contributed on one of our videos and uh, I noted that the the idea of a um, readme for a GitHub profile was a good idea and we had a um, make this in progress a uh, retrospective action item to try it out for uh, for our own stuff. So uh, stateless code we did in the last video kind of stumbled through that a bit because the um, the process is is slightly different. So in and we kind of went both ways. And I haven't I kept around the other repo to kind of show the the difference between them. So in an organization setting, you have a special dot GitHub repo uh, for your organization, and then you can see here the readme for that repo is not what winds up displaying here. So you need to create a readme in the profile directory. And that readme is what you wind up seeing when you click on the org. So that's what we've got there. In that other stateless code repo, I followed the um, the practice that you would typically use if you were a user. So I created a readme file in the uh, kind of at the base of the repo. And then I also added in this kind of assets slash um, assets folder that has some stuff related to branding so that it can be made available to say my personal profile, the other uh, repos and projects that we're working on, we can now go in and refer, let's say in the nerd dice uh, Ruby gem, we can refer to one of these in the readme um, and ha have it show up. Um, so that's um, kind of the reason for doing that. So now we're going to go and try to do the same thing for my um, profile. So you can see here, the structure, it is uh, a repo with the same name as your repo. And then you put in a readme.md file for that. So we're going to go in to my repositories here. My repositories are more kind of learning. Uh, I kind of open source my learning. So you can feel free to check some of those out, but um, the they're kind of not um, polished or done for um, like I'm not making videos out of them or anything like that. So um, we'll do this. We will a special repository. So this one, it notes you here uh, that you can use to add a readme to your GitHub profile, make sure it's public and that and initialize it with a readme to get started. So um, uh, we will add a readme file and we will create the repository. So you can see the high there here. I don't know if, like if I go in and do this, I wonder if the high there, the high there is there. So it shows up right away. Uh, so now I can go in and edit that readme file. Um, and I found, this is a kind of a, a little life hack sort of thing. So if you go in, to that readme itself and edit it. You can see that the uh, the editor there isn't the same. Well, let's see here. Yeah, it isn't quite as good typically as the, um, the editor for just a normal issue. So what I did last time, what I'll do again is um, 
open a draft issue here and I'll write my profile in here where all of the kind of WYSIWYG um, things are available to me. So I will pause and do a first draft of this and come back. All right, I think I've got a draft to this. Um, so I, again, I use the, uh, just creating an, an issue here for the, um, the editing. It doesn't render, so it renders this GIF here, um, but the stateless code icon from the other repo doesn't render there. Uh, I think it does render, like if I go back into the editing thing here and paste it in, you can see that it does add it in there. And then I want to add in, see if I can drag and drop my strengths pictures here. I will see if that will work. Cool if it did. So strengths 2023. Okay. Seems to have worked, other than the fact that it's uh, just all in the wrong spot here. Try the other thing for my 2014 version of this. Looks promising. not seem to have worked yet. But that might just be a, a delay in rendering. At least I'll at least save the references here in case I need them. Just file temporarily here and for the other one in case this doesn't work so I've got those uh, github user content uh, links available to me uh, hopefully in the event that uh, this doesn't work when I try doing this. Other, otherwise, it seems to I want to at least get a line break here. Oh, there we go. I just needed to do a line break. So that is looking pretty cool. I think that gives me enough to uh, do a first draft of this. Uh, so I will um, pause and write my, well, I'll just first draft. directly to the master branch. And there we go. So 
And we can see underneath that all the n normal stuff like pinned repos and um, contributions and all that stuff uh, still exists. So um, you can use this as a uh, model for updating your own GitHub profile, put in, it's um, just Markdown, so you can put in whatever you want. The um, drag and drop uh, images works, uh, so you can do that. You just need to do a line break before and after each of those images for them to render properly. And I think we can move this into the done column. I'll actually move it in the in my next retro, but that uh, gets us where we need to be. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.